Welcome to Coco Sports. I am the huge one, again, the idiot Dave Coco from DaveKocio.com, and we are doing a review of bum, ba, da, da, Noah's Great Voyage 2023 and Osaka. As always, we ask you win, loss, or tie, and this is a very special Valentine's Day <laughs> episode, so pro wrestling love forever to all my wrestling fans out there. Internet infantry, we love you. All right, as always, I give I give Pro Wrestling Noah a win. It is probably my favorite product going on right now. A close second would be Dragon Gate, and I plan on doing a lot more reviews of Dragon Gate. We had two big appearances. Uh, one of them you can see right there. All right, let's break this down match by match, and then we'll see what's going on. I won't be doing a watch party on Twitch for the next big Noah event because I'll be there live. Yeah! <laughs> Last love. Oh, God. All right, so first, you had a tag team match. You got Yone and Sato defeating Okada and Osawa. And this is where I, I this is why Pro Wrestling Noah is one of my favorite promotions out there right now, or is the hottest promotion out there, in my opinion. These are the comedy guys. The, the comedy guys are harder hitting, faster, and more intense than most of the pro wrestling out there. And here's the crazy part. There, we got, you know, we got some young wrestlers here at Pro Wrestling Noah, but they're 50, 60-year-olds outperforming champions in other companies. I, I just love it. They're keeping Strong Style alive. They're keeping, you know, great professional wrestling alive and not going pure, purely sports entertainment. Um, next, you got Daga and Chris Ridgway defeat uh, Kongo's Taduska and Ohara. Um, you got Suzuki, Fujita, and Timothy Thatcher. It was the first time we see Fujita since 1-1. Uh, Suzuki gets the pin over uh, Inamura, Mochizuki, and Tanaka. I love Tanaka. He's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Timothy Thatcher, it was nice to see him. Suzuki had a great match. Great to see Fujita. Um, 13 minutes and 45 seconds. Just a pretty solid match all around. Uh, business picks up here with the eight-man tag. You got the son of Dr. Wagner Jr., Amukusa, Ninja Mac. I don't know if I could pull off Ninja Mac. And uh, Marafuji. Uh, they go against Congo. Lose. High 69 defeats Omakusa. It's going to lead, lead to another match. You also got Kondo, uh, on um, Congo. You had Kondo, Nakajima, and Funaki. Nakajima and Funaki right now. Um, some of my favorite pro wrestlings ever. Just because like you go watch live, they're just thunderous shot. So overall, really enjoyed the match. I hope that Nakajima gets pushed to the moon again by this company. You got El Desperado. A lot of New Japan fans know him. Nasawa, whose career is coming to an end. They defeat Yano and Yohei, a different Yano. Overall, not a bad tag team match. 15-minute um, match. Then you got the tag champs. I'm sorry, not tag team champs. Sorry about that. You got tag teams. I read it out of order. I apologize. Uh, Keno uh, and Seiya defeat Anthony Green and Jake Lee. Seiya looked amazing. Uh, Jake Lee and Keno seem to be um, telling a story where they're going to battle each other and see where it goes. Um, I like the new Jake Lee faction, but I, I hate the name of it. I think it's like three handsome dudes, beautiful boys to the left. I'm not really sure what it is. But they gotta really change that name. <laughs> it's it's horrible. It's like three handsome dudes or something. I don't even know what it is. Uh, but it's a horrible, horrible name. Uh, plus, I want to see what Jake Lee could do. Uh, people speak very highly of him in all Japan, so I want to see what he could do versus Kenna. Next, you got singles match. Um, you got dry dry dryistico fucking nailed it uh he is the second mystico i did this great video about how mystico's in noah and then i listed him as the wrong mystico i didn't upload the video but mistakes were made but the second mystico Drazistico, uh is here he defeats kotoje in 13 minutes a fast-paced match and i want to see what he can do here next you got the ghc tag team championship match um Segura and kojima Finally lose the titles. Um, I didn't know how long they were going to keep the titles. Kojima having a second life since coming to Noah. Uh, they lose to Anabe and Kitamiya. And I thought it was just, I thought it was a good, exciting match. And 
at first when Kojima and Segura got the titles, I was like, oh, okay, well, this is a one night stand. And then now I'm like, oh man, I wish they did more. Uh, Kashima coming over here to Noah. I don't think he's on a full time contract. I think he's on loan from New Japan, but I could be make I not making that up, but I could be misinformed. But Kojima has really brought life into uh, his career, and we're very lucky to see it. And next, you got the GHC Junior Heavyweight Champs, Eita and Ogawa defeat Alejandro and Miyakawa. Uh, Miyawaki, sorry about that. And this wasn't a bad match. It, it it got the job done, 19 minutes, a little fast pace. I'm hoping Alejandro, even though I can't pronounce his name right, gets a huge push, so I'd like to see where this goes. They already have their next opponents there waiting for them. And after they went off, Naito came out, cut out an emotional speech. I had a tear or two, and Great Muda was there, and they celebrated. And next, you got Kaito Kiyomiya going against Jack Morris. This was 19 minutes, 11 seconds. It was a very fun, solid match. Um, they he hits it with a shining wizard, a variant of a shining wizard, and uh, Kiyomiya wins. So there you go, Jack Morris. They did a nice video package for him, and I'd like to see what he can do and move forward. Uh, Kimia is the champ. He's starting to cut a promo. He's like, hey, how do you like the new Noah, GHC, the future of the company? Because Noah is really taking off right now. They're very close to New Japan. Some people say that they are bigger than New Japan, but you have that international market, and you also have, with Noah. Uh, Muda and uh, when great Muda retires will it change will it not and then after that Okada runs out he hits a huge rainmaker um, Kiyomiya sells it like a champ and he cuts a promo and I don't I'm thinking about doing a separate video an open letter to Okada um, but he basically says he doesn't like the pro wrestling no offense. He's going to come here. You got to ask him nice. You got to respect. He's trying to do a heel thing. Some people are clapping for him. Some people are hated. But there's one thing that, like, I just want to get a point across. It's you and Ghetto's, like, Noah. Let's go over to, let's rewind a little bit. Uh, pro wrestling Noah does great. Masawa and, you know, Misawa is running a great ship. It, it's up there. It's doing great. Misawa passes away. A couple other wrestlers pass away. They do a lot of losses. And then it's just Kenta. Noah is just Kenta. Then Kenta goes to WWE. And Noah has almost gone bankrupt multiple times. Where New Japan bails them out. Right? All Ghetto and Okada has to do is not fuck up. But Noah fans are... F the be big because like how do you go from bankrupt to second place right about to take first place? How does that happen? Now the Congo storyline, we are Noah storyline helped out tremendously. The matches be like, no, we're gonna keep them short, stiff, fat, action packed. We're gonna just have great pro wrestlers. All that is a plus, but that isn't enough. Having a good product isn't enough. The top product has to make a lot of mistakes for that product to open up. And that's what happened. So Okada is like the heel, like, oh, you can boo me, oh, you can hate me, you can respect me. This company isn't in business. Pro Wrestling Noah doesn't exist if your product is good. It's kind of like, I know you're trying to be a heel and trying to get booed and you hate Noah fans. Pro Wrestling Noah fans, I live here. Most of them were New Japan fans. You guys chased us away by not trying in the ring. Here's the thing. You're going to use every ounce of your ability to win. And I'm not talking about in the ring. You're going to be in Ghetto's ear. You're going to mention how much Noah owes. You're going to mention how much is bigger. You're going to politic your way to a victory. We all know this, right? We all fucking know this. Let's, 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 not, let's not pretend... Okada is not going to win this match via politics. Here's the thing. You talk about a World Cup. But if that's the case, then WWE is going to win because they have the most money. So if you don't, you know, have a great match and put over Kia Mia, you're kind of a hypocrite. Now, I'd like to talk if you don't put on a good match and win. That's the reason people went to Noah. 
You are literally the reason people went to Noah. We want to cheer you. We want to fucking root for you. But you mailed it in for the past two years. You've lost the eye of the tiger. And Kimia has it. And unlike our corporate-loving American friends, we just want to watch the best wrestling in the world. And none of this would exist if you tried. All your problems go away, Okada, if you try. That's it. There is no We Are Noah movement without you being horrible. There is no Noah emerging and becoming this great fucking product. If you don't fail, you're not going against Kiyomiya. You're going against what you used to be. Young, hungry, impressive. And now what are you? You're a fucking joke. Do the right thing. You're not going to. Because you haven't done the right thing for two fucking years. Why would you do the right thing now? You want a World Cup? But you're not going to do the right thing with Noah? You want to be the best in the world? Yet barely show up every fucking night? The kid that went to Mexico and sacrificed his whole life to become one of the greatest. Sometimes he looks you in the mirror and says you failed him. Look in the mirror and realize you got to put on a good match. We all know you're going to win. Life is not fair. The rich get richer. What we're asking for you is for you to fucking show up and try. That's all we're asking for. Mr. Okada, I ask you, for one time or one time only, step up and put on a good goddamn match. Kimia, I wish you nothing but the best. If you don't win, life isn't fair. No pressure, kid. No pressure. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm very excited. Naito's speech to Kenta. Uh, sorry, Kenta. Uh, Naito's speech to uh, Naito's speech to Muta was beyond amazing, worth watching. Um, Kiyomiya uh, match is worth watching. Go out of your way. The resurgence and the spark that's back in Kashima's career is worth watching. I would love to see what Dresses to Go can do. I want to see what he can do and move forward. Um, I want to see what Jake Lee can do at Noah, and Keno would be a first great opponent. Um, there's a lot. Nosawa's career is coming to an end too, so it's kind of uh, I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of sad and happy at the same time. Um, Ninja Mac, I want to see what you could do. Doctor, son of Doctor Wagner Jr. has been doing absolutely amazing. I want to see Nakajima get pushed to the moon. I'm just happy and excited that we live in an age where there's pro wrestling for everybody. You know, we don't have to be stuck with WWE. If you love WWE, that's okay. You don't have to be stuck with AEW. You don't have to be stuck with New Japan. We live in an age where there's a product out there for everyone. And right now, that product for me is pro wrestling, Noah. I look forward to being there. I might do an open letter to Okada, but it's just, he's worthless, dude. He's Roger Dorn. He's not going to fucking try. He's not going to put in goddamn effort. But that's not Noah's fault. It's going to suck, though, because they're going to negotiate and fucking a piece of shit is going to win. A piece of shit is going to win. Uh, Kimiya, <laughs> I mean, you can shoot on the old man if you want. <laughs> He's heavier than you, but he ain't what he used to be. He ain't what you used to be. Alejandro, can't wait to see that. But overall, I give it a huge win. And the biggest question mark I have is I'm, I'm going to be watching Noah. Noah is really excited. I know people are talking about Noah right now more and more. Check it out on Wrestle Universe. Hashtag not an ad. Hashtag obviously. Um, but when Muda retires, what will Noah do? 
it's going to be a very interesting situation and I, I i i'm super pumped up i'm super pumped up i'll be there live i'll be definitely doing a preview of it i'll do a review of it probably outside the stadium and i'll do a review of it um inside my warm house <laughs> it's been really cold here in japan so i'm excited um i'm hoping more people check out pro wrestling noah and I'm thinking the Muda retirement gets eyes on it and hopefully people will fall in love with the wrestlers that they have. And I don't know. Uh, I'm very excited and pumped up, but at the same time, a little nervous. And I guess I just, uh, for Okada, I'm just heartbroken. And just think about when you were a young kid and sacrificed everything. You've already let me down. You've already let down the We Are Noble movement. You worship a God that doesn't love you. Don't let down that fucking kid who sacrificed everything to go to Mexico to become one of the greatest wrestlers. And two, three years ago, you were the greatest wrestler in the world. Don't let that fucking kid down. Look yourself in a goddamn mirror and put on one good fucking match. You're going to politic your way to a victory. At least fucking earn it, you piece of shit. Anyway, Pro Wrestling Noah, make sure to check it out on Wrestling Universe. We do stream on Twitch. This month has been uh, what we call turkey ass, turkey, turkey ass February, as I got married, had jaw surgery, and went to a bunch of different sporting events. But March will probably get rocket. Uh, we're also on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook at Coco Sports. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought of the show. And I hope to do more pro wrestling uh, videos and Dragon Gate. I know they won't get the views, but hey. We're not here to tickle the balls of Susan. Actually, we need to tickle the balls of Susan. <laughs> but uh, I want to make sure that I cover what I love. as, uh, And I want to cover everything. But there's just so much of it. So much of it. So we'll do it little by little. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. And hopefully I'll make more and more videos. I'm just spending a lot of time with my new wife. Hopefully you understand. Holy shit, I've become Okada. Bear. Bear. I've become Okada. What? You're Mrs. Okada. What? I said, no, listen, listen. I said, oh, I hope I can make more and more videos, but I want to spend time with my wife. I am uh -oh. Okada. That's why I fucking hate him. When I look in the mirror, I see a fucking Roger Dorn. I don't have what it takes anymore, Bear. I don't have the heart, the soul, the determination. Bear, it's over. I can't be Okada. I can't do it, Bear. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Happy Valentine's Day. And with that... I am over. Ba -da 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 -da. Hey, ba -da -ba -ba -ba.